Hey, what's up YouTubers and Rachel players? Welcome back to Dennis Flippin's YouTube channel. In this short video, I'm gonna show you guys the current state of my N64 prototype collection. I sold, bought and traded a few N64 prototypes, but not that much because the price of these babies has gone through the roof. Let's take a look at eBay to show you guys what I mean. Yikes, I don't think that I will be adding a ton of N64 prototypes to my collection with those prices. Let's check out the current state of my N64 prototype collection. Here we have Turok 2 not for resale cards. They might not be prototypes but they do contain prototype content. That's very different from the retail version. Let's quickly go through the other prototypes here. Some of these N64 prototypes right here are shown in detail in other videos on my YouTube channel. So be sure to check out all of my content before you leave a comment about a certain prototype. I got 15 prototypes right here, let's go. Mystical Ninja 2 starring Gooman. Revolt fingerprinted 2. Can't read that. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, Alpha version. Very buggy, very different. Chameleon Twist 2, please return to Electro Source. Xtreme, unreleased N64 prototype, deserves its own video on my channel. More on that later. Churok Free. Knife Edge Batman Beyond Maze the Dark Age This prototype also deserves its own video It's very buggy, it's very unreleased and around 60% complete Very different from the retail version Still has some gore in it and other stuff Star Wars Racer Oh, here we go, Earthbound 64. Now, uh, this is an empty cartridge. I got this from a fellow collector that also wrote for Nintendo magazines in the past in the Netherlands. There's nothing on it, I couldn't start it. He also told me that it was a blank cartridge, but Earthbound was on it. And yeah, I believe that's still a joke. South Park Rally, fingerprinted to player one. That was a French Nintendo magazine back in the day. Madden 64 Backstage you saw And here we have the last one International Superstar Soccer 64 That's it That's the current state of my N64 prototype collection I hope that I can add some other games later this year But who knows And I just realized that I have around $18,000 in front of me Wow, that's insane. Oh, and one more thing. Yes, these prototypes have been dumped and preserved. And no, they don't erase themselves after you power them off. That's a myth that originated from YouTube channels like hard for games All these prototypes right here have been played again and again, powered on and off, reset it, and nothing happened. The whole erasing myth originated from one single prototype that died after it powered off. That's it. Hey, thanks for watching guys. As always, stay strong, game on, and I hope to see you guys soon in another video. Take care.